hello everyone my today video recording is uh, related to the mode bus uh, converter in my case uh, as you can see in this example i'm using this moxa mgate uh, protocol converter which is mode bus uh, tcp ip to mode bus rtu or either you can use in vice versa condition like mode bus rtu to mode bus tcp ip I will give you a real example that uh, mostly the PLC in industrial communication, communication they support the serial interfaces. So the beauty of this product is it support RS-232, RS-485 and RS-422 wire connections. And uh, we have one central SCADA software installed over the network. So in reality the PLC is actually generating traffic on the serial side and this converter understand the serial communication and convert the serial signal to TCP IP and the guy who's having uh, running or sitting in the SCADA room he is actually monitoring the real time values for the PLCs so in my case uh, in my case I don't have the real PLC and SCADA software but I will show you to simulate how to simulate a traffic I am using this serial to USB converter which is connected to USB port and this serial side is connected to this converter and the TCP IP Ethernet cable is directly connected to my uh, computer so my computer is having this IP address 127.70 uh, okay if you want I can show you my physical IP address uh, as you can see my PC IP is 127.70 and uh, I will show you what kind of utilities do you require to access this software so you have to go to the Moxa website under the protocol gateways uh, you have to choose the protocol gateways and then you have to choose Modbus TCP gateways and in that you have to choose the MB3170 so I am using this MB3170 you have to click on this MB3170 and uh, it will redirect you to the product website under the product website if you want to review the data sheet you can just download the data sheet okay for the details it's I already have opened this as you can see this device support up to it support device routing TCP IP flexible configuration 32 mode bus TCP servers and 31 R62 mode bus RTU or ASCII slave devices rest of the details you can check in the data sheet and uh, the utilities that you require to configure this device you have to come to resources page under the resources page you have to go to utility and you need this mget manager you have to just click here and the utility will be downloaded on your computer so as i already have downloaded so i don't require it okay so i will just run the utility i will show you how to install it okay and uh, accept the license agreement and launch okay so uh, what I will do I will uh, I'm running this utility on my this PC so I will just uh, run the search utility to discover the device will just take a little bit of while as you can see the device is discovered and it is showing locked so once you click on the you have to choose the device and click on configuration and it will ask you for the username and password so username is admin and password is moxa click ok if you want to change the device name you can change the device name if you want to configure the time zone you can configure the time zone according to your requirement uh, as you can see I am in the same subnet my PC is using dot 70 and the device is in 254 so I'm not going to change the IP address but if you want you can change it serial side uh, as we will configure the parameter as 1152 flow none parity none FIFO enable stop bit one and interface as you can see it's software selectable so you can choose according to your requirement so in my case I'm using RS485 2 wire so I will choose 2 wire under the protocol uh, under the protocol I will just disable this procom and the serial side as you can see I'm using this uh, as a RTU slave mode so you can see the slave mode uh, diagram here 
if you want to choose this RTO master so you can see this is RTO master mode and the protocol like ASCII or ASCII so if you want ASCII ASCII you can choose anything so in my case is RTO slave mode if you want ASCII slave you can use ASCII slave in my example I am going to use RTO slave mode so I will click I will choose this mode bus uh, the TCP IP port is 502 default I will keep the default port and mode bus routing if you want to change the uh, slave ID values you can change the sl slave ID values here as you can see it's showing port 1 so you can just click modify and you can change the slave ID values so I will the default is allowed from 1 to 254 I will keep the default one if for example if you are using 1010 you can assign 1010 so in my case I will use one as an example I will click ok priority I don't want to check anything else I will just click on ok and uh, configuration is finished Mm, I will discover the device again uh, till it's discovered uh, yeah the device is discovered I will show you my uh, USB converter configuration so my USB converter is uh, map to com5 as you can see com5 and it's uh, baud rate you can set the baud rate so in my case is 1152 and other parameters are correct and then you need uh, to verify the serial side so i will just click here and see the port configuration as you can see it is set to 4852 wire so it's mapped to com5 and 2 wire so it's mean it is correctly configured so beside this uh, I'm going to use this uh, mode bus simulator software so I will open the software simulator software and uh, I will connect first the TCP IP interface mode bus TCP IP and the device IP is 254 in my case you can choose uh, according to your requirement whatever the IP is configured for the mode bus device so in my case is 254 I am going to use the 254 here and port 502 as I show you in configuration I will just click on connect ok and now uh, I will just click on connect and in my case is COM5 so I will choose the COM5 baud rate is correct everything is correct uh, sorry COM5 ok as you can see before there was error but now there is no more error I will clear the errors as you can see TX is sending I will uh, I will show you the beauty of this utility if you are using this software you can just troubleshoot you can choose the device and you can click on the monitor and you can start the monitoring as you can see it's uh, requesting for the data right now there is no data as you can see my slave ID is 1 and it's reading holder just holding registers so what I will do from slave side I will pull the data okay uh, I will just make it as uh, 11 I will just use number 3 and I will use this 5 55 so as you can see I change the value for uh, 1 3 and 5 and you can see the value that we are receiving here okay same values the parameters are same and if you see uh, I am having this value here monitor mode I, as you can see the TCP request response everything is perfectly working fine and I will show you on the Wireshark as well so Wireshark is a utility for the traffic capture and under the Wireshark I will capture the traffic for Ethernet and I will use the filter of uh, Modbus choose Modbus and click as you can see I am having query and I am having response query response query response so each query and each response for everything ok and uh, if you can see the values values is working fine ok and if you want to change the read write definitions uh, you can change the definitions here during your testing okay so that's it if you have any question comment in my videos i will get back to you 
and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you very much thank you for watching